Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about reordering columns in delta table. This is one of the common requirement, not only in Databricks, but also in most of the traditional databases and data warehousing. But we don't have any direct solution in traditional databases. The workaround is we have to take backup uh, of the data into some temporary table, then drop the table and recreate the table with proper positioning of columns, then load the data from the temporary table into actual table, then drop the temporary table. But coming to Databricks, we are having direct solution using PySpark and Spark SQL commands. That is what I'm going to cover in this video. And you might see, I have mentioned about performance optimization. You might wonder how reordering table columns will be related to performance optimization. That is quite strange, isn't it? But that is true. Reordering table columns is impacting performance of the Delta engine, Delta table. In order to understand that, we have to understand Delta Lake internal. I have already posted one video about Delta Lake internal. The video number 52, I can give in the description box and also I can put it in the I button. In case you haven't watched that video, I, I, I highly recommend to watch that video. So just to summarize, Delta Lake is nothing but keeping the data in big data file format, parquet, which is called Delta format. But along with data file, there is one more layer, which is called Delta layer, which is maintaining metadata and statistics of the data files. Using uh, these uh, metadata, we can perform ACID transactions. And also with the help of statistics, Delta engine can improve the performance while performing certain data analytics because that is helping to avoid uh, full uh, full data scanning. A Delta engine does not need to scan all the data files. This process is called data skipping. So that is uh, being performed with the help of statistics. But coming to statistics, in Delta Lake, statistics is collected only for first 32 columns in a particular Delta table. Let's say we are having a Delta table which is having hundreds or thousands of columns. Even though we are having so many number of columns, Delta engine will collect statistics only for first 32 columns, using which it will improve the performance through data skipping. But let's say we are using one of the column more frequently in our data analytics, but that is not part of first 32 columns. Then what happens? Delta engine does not have any statistics for that particular column, but that is used in our data analytics predication. Then Delta engine ha has to scan all the data files. So that is going to hit the performance. So if you are going to use certain columns more frequently in our data analytics, then we have to keep those uh, columns in the first 32 list. So this is how reordering column is related to performance optimization. I hope you understood. Now let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is up and running. And for this exercise, first I'm going to create one of the Delta table. The table name is column reordered demo. I'm going to create 35 columns just for this demo. Just for simplicity, I'm keeping the column names as column one, column two, column three, column four, column five, column six, up to column 35 and all the columns are of data type long and this is stored in a place file show tables reorder column so let me create the delta table first it's running in the next step i am creating the sample data frame so i am um, having i am creating two records the first record will have values 1 to 35 second record will contain the value 10 to 350 and i am uh, giving list of columns Using my data and columns, I am creating the data frame using spark.create data frame command. And finally, it is uh, displayed for our reference. Let me execute this step. So, data frame got created, which is having 35 columns and the values number 1 to 35 and 10 to 350. Right. Now, let me insert my data frame into delta table. So, for that, I am using spark write, uh, writer command. Let me execute. So basically Spark is working in the concept of distributed parallel processing, which means here I'm writing two records. So it will um, 
create to two different data files because uh, two different cores will uh, process one record at a time so as a result it is going to create two different data files internally both will be in in parquet format but this is uh, just a simple example i am just uh, inserting two records but in real time we are going to deal with um, thousands of or millions of records so each and every data file will contain uh, many records it will be thousands or uh, millions of records right so for our simple uh, demo it would have created two different data files each file will have only one record right now let me check my table for uh, that i am using simple spark uh, select statement it's executing here we can see the output so this is this is a delta table delta table is having 35 columns and it's having values 1 to 35 and 10 to 350 there are two records right now let us try to understand the internals so whenever we are creating delta table as i mentioned it is going to create the uh, delta layer under uh, delta layer for each table so this is the location of my table within that it is going to create one uh, underscore delta underscore lock uh, folder that is called delta layer within that it is going to maintain uh, metadata and statistics for that it will use json log files so let me execute here we can see it is having json log files so here this is first version that is nothing but table creation uh, step and we are having one more json in this uh, step actually we have inserted two records and if I have to see the data files, then I can remove this one. Then we can see data files under this folder. Here you can see it has created two different uh, parquet files. So each file will contain one record. And this is the delta layer. So let me uh, execute the delta layer once again. So here we are having JSON log files. Now this is my latest JSON log file. So let me check what is uh, what is there inside this json file so for that i am using a get command it's a file system command percentage fs then i am using get command to see the content of this json file so let me execute here inside this is the json uh, log data here we can see you know what kind of operation got performed at what time it got uh, performed which user executed what is the username what is the cluster name you know it will give all the information and also it is giving you know there are two files got added as part of this operation you now this file this is for first record here you can see add add operation and this is a second add this is a second record and what is the file okay this is the first parquet file and this is the second parquet file and also it is giving statistics for example here it is telling you know uh, what is the size of this what is the modification um, a date you know data got changed yes and uh, the statistics you know, it is maintaining the statistics number of records one in this particular file and in this particular file also number of records one overall we have inserted two records and it is having uh, statistics for all the columns for column one it's having the minimum value and maximum value in this case will be same because the entire file is having only one record so here you can see the statis uh, statistics column one to column 32 here even though we are having 35 columns, it is not capturing statistics for column 33, 34, 35. Why? Because by default, Delta Engine will collect statistics only for first 32 columns. Same here you can see in the next uh, maximum value, that statistics, that is also column 1 to column 35, 32, sorry, column 32. And uh, it's the same case for second file also. So let's say this is our Delta table. But I will do frequent data analytics based on my column 35. So if that is the case, we don't have statistics. So Delta engine has to scan the entire uh, file list. So it is going to hit the performance. Right. Now, my requirement is you know, 35, column 35. You know, that is one of the important column. So I have to bring it uh, into uh, first 32 column list. So Databricks is um, uh, providing two different uh, you know, approaches uh, for this one. The first approach I am going to show using the keyword first. So here we have to use the syntax spark SQL syntax alter table. This is the table name and the keyword change column. And what is the column name? You no know, column 35. That is one of the important column uh, on which I want to collect the statistics. Then I am going to give the word first. 
which means you now this column 35 it will be reposition to first column so that's the meaning of that let me execute now my table got altered now let me uh, view the table let me query so that we can see how it got repositioned now here we can see column 35 that has come to the first place and column 1 onwards you now it will be placed next to column 35 i hope you understood whenever we are using the keyword first so it will bring the column to the first position right now i am going to see a delta delta lake delta lock once again so the operation you know we have performed the operation of uh, repositioning it would have created one more lock file for that so now we can see the json lock uh, the latest one it's going to be second version so if i am going to view the lock file once again using head command then here we can see now it is um, uh, collecting the metadata and statistics like you now here we can see you know this is the operation what kind of operation happened it's uh, you know table uh, repositioning so position first that is operation we have executed and coming to metadata it is going to tell you know this is the first column column 35 and after column 35 column 1 will come then column 2 so this is how it is uh, keeping the metadata now you understood now i will explain the data also this is just i am showing the metadata based on the latest log but uh, in the next example i will show the data as well right so apart from first there is one more option provided by spark sql that is nothing but after so let's say you know i have to insert uh, my uh, column 35 in between column 10 and column 11 i don't want to keep uh, this column in the first place instead of that i have to put it uh, in between certain range certain uh, columns then for that i can use the keyword after so here i am telling alter table my table name change column column 35 after 10 which means 11th position i want to keep my column 35 in the 11th position so let me execute this step the execution is completed now let me query my table here we can see after 10th my column 35 is placed this is how we can reorder the position of the columns in delta table now coming to advantage what i'm doing what i'm going to do is after performing this reordering repositioning i am going to insert two more records for that i am creating two more records in a data frame which is starting from 100 until 3500 and 1000 till 35000 so using this data and uh, schema i am creating a data frame which will be displayed for our reference so it's being executed now here we can see now there are two extra records i am going to in insert using uh, spark writer data frame writer command so i am using the append mode so earlier we inserted two records now again two more records will be inserted into this uh, delta table right let me execute this step execution is completed now using a list command i am going to see what are the log files generated under delta layer so for that i am executing file system list command here we can see now there are two more uh, log files got created so one is for repositioning 35 uh, once again into 11th position and inserting two records using uh, uh, spark writer so there are two uh, extra log files got created now let me look at uh, my uh, last json file you know which inserted two records so let me uh, check you know what is the inside when i look at inside here you can see you know it is having uh, uh, metadata along with statistics coming to statistics you know it has uh, produced uh, two extra files okay in one of the file only one record and it is going to keep uh, the statistics for first 32 columns and if you look at the column number 11 you know after this is a 10th and this is a 11th after column 10th we are getting the statistics for column 11th and also we are missing the uh, statistics for column 32 here if you look at you now this is ending in column 31 why because you now there is one more extra column located between column 10 and column 11 so including considering all these columns there are totally 32 columns so which means 
delta engine is collecting statistics only for first 32 columns so in our case column 35 is one of the important column which will be used in most of the data analytics uh, prediction so that's the reason we have uh, repositioned now statistics is being collected for this uh, column so using this statistics delta engine can perform data scaping and it can improve the performance i hope you understood right now this is for the latest uh, two records but how about uh, previously inserted two records so let me look at uh, my previous file um, so uh, the previous file is uh, uh, one that is a log file one so what i can do is now i can uh, check my uh, first json file and let me understand what is there inside so my previously inserted data that is uh, that is uh, still not updated so it, it has collected uh, statistics only for first 32 columns during that uh, snapshot so which means you know, it is still holding the statistics for first 32 columns not for column 35 column 35 is not included so now my requirement is i have repositioned my columns so going forward whatever the columns i am adding whatever the records i am adding or uh, deleting so it is going to consider the statistics according to my repositioned column order but i have to consider the statistics for previously added data as well so what we can do for that there is one operation called recompute we have to recompute the statistics so this is the syntax for that this is my uh, table name and uh, uh, I, I have to give uh, uh, the function statistics collection dot recompute i have to give my delta log uh, path so let me execute this step using this step we are just recomputing the uh, statistics for old data as well so once this step is completed now it has uh, produced uh, one um, you know one more uh, log uh, file json log file so which i can see here let me execute if you look at this one it has created one more json log file that is a fifth version 5.json so let me see what is there inside this uh, log file so let me execute here it is going to consider it's going to contain all my records so here we can see there are four uh, files so we can see four uh, uh, you know four uh, files and statistics for each file so here if you see you know after column number 10 here you can see column number 35 so this is recomputed statistics i hope you understood you now how to reposition uh, the columns in uh, delta lake and what is the importance of that i hope you understood the internals of internals of uh, this reordering uh, columns as well you know how it is related to performance optimization and why it is very important i hope you understood and enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel also don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button to get latest uh, videos on databricks and spark thank you